Welcome back everyone. Today we're back for our NJTC member spotlight series. We did one last week with Felisa Palaji from Internet Creations and this week we're joined by Sam, the CEO and founder of One Huddle. So welcome. Thanks for having me. So what is One Huddle? What do you guys do and how long has One Huddle been involved with NJTC? Sure. Great question. I think companies today, uh, and especially today, are struggling to keep their employees connected, fired up, excited, and most importantly, prepared to work. So One Huddle, we're an enterprise SaaS platform. Companies can use us to turn any form of employee training or communication into a mobile game. So think of it as a faster, more effective, more competitive way to keep your employees up to speed. And we, you know, been lucky to be a part of the NJ Tech Council for uh, a few years now, being based in Newark, New Jersey, and being a tech startup that's grown really fast. I've had the opportunity to work with a ton of great partners and folks at the NJ Tech Council. So it's been super additive and you guys, what you all are doing is super important right now more than ever. Cool. So what factors contributed to you joining NJTC? You know, what are some either goals that you wanted to achieve? What was going on? Yeah, so I think that if you are going to have the mindset as a founder that you want to build a great company, not just for a product that's going to go across the globe, you have to first take care of what's at home. So I think what attracted me to NJ Tech Council is they fight for New Jersey companies first. And that's most important to me being a founder that's decided and chosen to be based in New Jersey. I started the company on the West Coast. I came to the East Coast and fell in love with Newark, fell in love with New Jersey. And I always say every day, I chose to be in New Jersey and working with the NJ Tech Council just makes sense to build strong community. It's really important, especially now. So what are some differences you've seen with working on the East Coast versus the West Coast? People are more direct on the East Coast, which right. is good. I would say that as an enterprise technology that sells to businesses, this is the big time. Being on the East Coast, being based in New Jersey gives us access to the New York market, gives us access down the Eastern seaboard if you need to get down to DC or, or Philly. So for me, if we're gonna build a company that impacts workers, being on the East Coast made sense, being in the vicinity of so much business and commerce in the New York market made sense. As a startup, I also wanted to be disciplined. In all honesty, I didn't wanna jump from WeWork to WeWork in New York City and having to fight to figure out how to make payroll and spend God knows what on rent and everything else. I thought as a business owner being more disciplined, uh, New Jersey provided me the opportunity to be more disciplined, hire great talent, grow the company responsibly. There's a lot of companies on the West Coast that they raise a little money too fast, they spend it wildly, and they get the outcome they get. I thought that being where we are has helped us to be real and keep our feet planted and centered. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of hiring great talent, how has your team been dealing with COVID-19? How has One Huddle overall been dealing with it, and how have your customers responded? Listen, no doubt this is tough times. We talk to our CEOs that use our platform pretty frequently. And I had a big meeting with our team middle of March when this happened, like I'm sure a lot of other companies out there did. And I told our team, we have a choice. We can either lean in right now and fight our way through this, or we can freeze and lean back and just hope that it goes away. I've chosen to lean in and those are tough decisions. We've been lucky enough that we, we didn't lay anybody off we actually ramped up some hiring in certain ways. We renegotiated some partner deals that allow us to have some flexibility right now. And then we decided to get on the horn. I kind of describe it as like a Jerry Maguire moment and re-engage all our customers. For us, our team's super connected. We're probably having one too many happy hours or they start a little too early. <laughs> I don't think uh, there's one too many at all. <laughs> they're starting a little earlier than maybe normal happy hour does. Listen, as if you're a leader out there, your number one priority right now and always should be your people. I would say that our days are longer, but as a remote work product, we have a certain opportunity today as a company that I'm aware of. And I think that with opportunity comes responsibility and we're trying to make sure that we're doing our part because so many companies and so many people are hurting right now. That's awesome. So in what ways has One Huddle benefited from being a part of the NJTC community and interacting with fellow members and just other people and experiences that you've been a part of? I think the mentor network is phenomenal. I think the ability to reach out to folks and ask questions about things that maybe we recently started expanding in the healthcare category. We work with Barnabas Hospitals and we work with Novartis and some pharma brands. When we were about to do that, I was able to reach out to some other 
founders and folks in the NJTC who have navigated those waters. And I think that's important. Companies can't be, and founders can't be afraid to just ask people for help. I think that's what's been great for me is I feel like I'm sitting here trying to figure a lot of stuff out as a founder. I don't have all the answers. So does my sales team and my engineering team. Being aware that just having conversations and being consistent with it has been a super additive and helpful thing for us right now. Even like just asking for help is kind of one of the reasons we've started to help. Recently, we opened, and I know a lot of great companies and Aaron and, and the whole team are doing a lot to share a lot of the great programs or products or offerings right now through your portal. We've offered our platform, sort of opened up our platform today. We know there's 57,000 jobs here in the state of New Jersey across 800 companies that are hiring right now. And we said, we have a training and workforce product that helps people prepare for work. So about two weeks ago, we opened it up completely for New Jersey residents. So if you're a New Jersey resident, you can download, log in, and play One Huddle to win at your interview. You might be applying to Whole Foods or Target or wherever, yeah. but One Huddle has your back. I think that that perspective comes from the same that NJTC has and the companies here in New Jersey have, which are always trying to pick each other up instead of just try to take advantage of a, of a, of a moment. New Jersey is strong, and we need people to fight now more than ever. Honestly, that's the best way to start my morning. That answer made my day, and it reminds me of why I do what I do. So awesome. 